here with you today. I want to talk to you about probiotics. That's my number one bacteria that I love. Uh, people have heard of antibiotics. That's like the enemy of probiotics. If you go on an antibiotic, it's good to fight off bacterial infections. Um, the thing is, probiotics are good bacteria that live in our gut. It's something that we need. We all have good bacteria and there's so much benefit with the bacteria. But if you go on an antibiotic, you'll notice common side effects of an antibiotic is uh, gas, bloating, upset stomach, even diarrhea because it kills off all your good bacteria. So um, when it comes to probiotics, a lot of people are already aware probiotics are in things like yogurt. Uh, they're also in a lot of fermented things too besides yogurt like kefir that has a ton of probiotics compared to yogurt. There's also yogurt in uh, sauerkraut, kimchi, miso soup, so there's a lot of versions of uh, probiotics. I recommend people actually take a probiotic pill um, even on a regular basis. So there's um, a couple characteristics you got to um, have when it comes to the good quality probiotic. You want to make sure it is a hypoallergenic form. So if you can get a non-dairy form, that's better. You got to get one that's going to survive that stomach acid to eventually implant in our large intestine, the colon. Um, and you, so you got to have enough with a good enough bacteria and uh, high amounts of good bacteria in it. So if you look at uh, a cup of yogurt, that's going to have maybe a billion amount of bacteria. All yogurts are different. But uh, I should tell people you need to go on a some type of probiotic that has at least 20 billion um, organisms in it and a diverse amount of those organisms not just lactobacillus um, so if you can do even 200 billion that's even better that's gonna be pretty expensive and that's a lot of yogurts but that's even more beneficial so when it comes to the benefits um, uh, it, it helps with indigestion irritable bowel syndrome gas bloating constipation diarrhea um, even helps um, boosting the immune system Skin conditions like eczema, they found that there's a recent study that showed that kids who were exposed to probiotics earlier in life, they're going to have less risk of developing eczema. Um, they fortify infant formula now with probiotics. Um, there's some interesting research now they are showing that probiotics can actually influence mood. So our gut bacteria actually influences our brain. So it's amazing how powerful our gut is, so you got to definitely take care of it. So probiotics could potentially help with anxiety. Potentially, you know, there's some theories that do probiotics help prevent autism, ADHD, ADD, or attention deficit disorder? Will it help treat it? Who knows? So a lot of exciting things on the horizon. So I recommend um, taking a probiotic on a daily basis and uh, for sure try to eat that yogurt, but you can eat a ton of it if you really just rely on that. All right, hope this helps, and I'll talk to you guys later.